trade deadline isn't the only eagerly anticipated event this week because today, right here, MLB Central is exclusively, Lauren, revealing the winner of the Pitch Hand Award. No one else knows it. An honor that goes to the Major League pitcher who kept his pitch hand so strong for the previous month. Now, as usual, some very strong qualified candidates, but Lauren, remember, there are hashtag other factors to consider. But this month's winner was the clear choice because going into yesterday, this pitcher's .42 ERA, second lowest over an 11 start span in a single season since 1913. Yesterday, he joined Jacob deGrom as the only non-opener since 1900 with 12 straight starts of one earned run allowed or fewer. The winner of the Pitch Hand Award for the month of July, Dylan C. Let's for the go. Chicago White Sox. Let's go. Now, Lauren, as you uh, may not be aware, this is the first time in the history of the award that one franchise has multiple pitch hand award winners. Carlos Rodon was our first. Dylan Cease is our last. Dylan Cease is the biggest all-star snub I can remember. Truly. I don't I think, think you right. could have pitched better than Maybe me. this will help ease that pain a little bit. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. Is it on a Wikipedia page? <laughs> I, I don't know. It should be. It, it should be. Absolutely. But in all seriousness, uh, D-Road, Dylan has been otherworldly. He, he, he has been overpowering every yeah. time you watch him. It's elevated four-seam cheese right by you yeah. with devastating breaking stuff. But my biggest takeaway yeah. is when we interviewed him. Confident. He said those city connects were his favorite. That's uniform his favorite in uniform. Pitching. Yeah, I, 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 those are the little things that I think about. And when Dan, he was, back to Curtin, he was good he's last wearing. year, but he has clearly taken that. Oh my next gosh! Step you know, really, year. where the White Sox have been a 500 to a little bit below team all year long. Where would they be without him? Right. How about Michael that trade Kopech. you brought up? Bring that trade. Yeah, when you, well, you know, again, those are the kind of trades you want to make at the deadline if you're a rebuilding team, getting. Yeah. Both Eloy, Jimenez, yeah. and Cease for Quintana. That's a, good deal. That's a good deal. Before you unveiled his name, I was thinking it was Carlos Carrasco. Got his right. 100th win, right? His team Definitely won all five candidate. starts, 30 innings. Look at these are other notable candates yeah. and Carlos Carrasco right Carlos there. Carrasco five starts, 0.90. Pretty darn good. Definitely we know that. Has. You know, any New York team, Robert's that, not going to That's, that's not true. Really that's is not true. Gonna that, gonna that is not true. It was. I agree. Hashtag other factors. Remember, okay. there's... It's more than just the player's willingness to come on. How about Reed Detmers goes no hitter and immaculate inning for what it's That's somebody for them to build on as they move forward. Yeah. You like Reed Detmers? I do. Yeah. Yep. Is uh, by the way, the I, er I erred when I said that the White Sox are the first multiple winners of the pitch hand. The Tampa Bay Rays also. Clanahan. Rich, Rich Hill and yeah. Shane O'Mac, uh, Shane McClanahan. Boom! So there you go. Do we have more of those? Like, More of what? When are you oh, going to yeah, pop here we out go. Of... This, is this, this is headed your way, Dylan. <laughs> this bad boy right here, headed to the south side. Thunder. So congratulations to Dylan Cease. This is his